Welcome to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 as Germany starting in 1935. It's May 1947 and I need to get back into the action because I've had a couple of weeks away. I'm in the midst of writing a book chapter and I've been off in the Lake District of Britain enjoying the company of fine friends and great gamers uh, playing a game called Valley of Tears by MMP Gamers covering the Arab-Israeli October 1973 war, the Yom Kippur or Ramadan war, depending on your orientation. A uh, great, great game. So I feel the need to kind of get back into here. I'm going to release these videos without further editing. So, you know, if you see me doing something, you know, awkward, just look away. Um, and there'll be more than the usual stutters and what have you. In the game... We have a pretty good position. Month in, month out, we've taken on the Royal Navy and we've defeated them. Occasionally, the defeat has looked, has, you know, veered more towards a draw uh, than towards the, you know, magnificent Trafalgar destruction bar battle. But primarily, that's because of the awful weather that has been during the winter and early spring here. But now it's May. So I'm hoping for better weather. I'm slightly um, diminished at the moment with all four of my battle cruisers in for repair, having tried so, so hard to catch up with British carriers that had uh, been escorting a convoy to uh, invade Norway. I stopped the invasion of Norway, hooray but they did get knocked about a little bit. So this month, we might see a little bit more of uh, declined battles whilst those ships are repairing. If we have a look up in Northern Europe, you'll see that um, our blockade strength here is 110, while Britain's blockade strength is uh, 80 for France and 146 or Britain, so considerably more, but when those battle cruisers return, plus whatever damage I can do here um, might reverse that. The submarine warfare, by the way, is going pretty well, but we'll look at that later. So I only have three heavy cruisers, like some five light cruisers, and my five carriers. So I need to be a bit protective of them. The British have a battleship and three battle cruisers. Uh, as well as three carriers and four uh, light carriers. That's down from five. I think they've lost two fleet carriers and a light carrier. The French are also wading in with two battle cruisers, two fleet carriers, and five light carriers. So, uh, yeah, no need this month to, uh, to go crazy. In the Mediterranean, where I keep a, uh, a small squadron, the um, the French have a battle cruiser, uh, and the British have a set of heavy cruisers to my single, uh, or indeed two light cruisers and an armed merchant cruiser. So yeah, not going to do too much in the Mediterranean. If we look around the general situation, monthly balance is still in the red by six thousand six hundred. The docks have one month for uh, rebuilding and obviously uh, repairing the battle cruisers is a heavy load. So I'm pretty help hopeful that we'll get to kind of a, a neutral funding soon. The ships, as I've mentioned, are all in a pretty good condition aside from the battle cruisers. The, um, the amount of elite crews is very heavy with uh, some of the others only being good uh, elite crews throughout. So. I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. There are this set here of poor uh, corvettes. These are 300 ton corvettes. I'd like to build another set. Of course, being only 300 tons, they're converted trawlers. They will disappear at the end of the war. But I'm keen not to be weak in mine laying. So I'm just going to go to build ships and look at this and add another 10. Uh, takes it up to 8,800 for four months. But uh, for me, that's a, a justifiable expense. 
Otherwise, I'm pretty happy with everything. Uh, with the exception, perhaps, of aircraft types. Uh, we have an old medium bomber that is almost out. In fact, I will uh, make that obsolete. Um, sorry, just say medium torpedo bomber. We have a new torpedo bomber. Um, we still don't know what its reliability is, but cross fingers, it will be at least average. I'm very disappointed in our new medium bomber whose reliability is poor. So we currently have a new fighter request out because got to keep on top with those quality fighters, even though this Henschel has done some great work. But I would love to replace this uh, medium bomber. Otherwise, I think we are all good. So I am just going to press the button and see what we get. So here is a battle. Um, hmm. And I don't seem to be able to decline it, even though it's quite a long way away. So that's a bit unfortunate. Hopefully the estimated enemy forces of three battle cruisers won't make an appearance. Ah, the decline option is here. Now, if you've seen the my beta 37 slash 39 update, you'll know that battles a long way from your coast can be declined at less cost than used to be the case. Um, mission, inflict more damage on than you suffer yourself. So I think, well, that's a new mission objective I haven't seen before. So yeah. They've been tweaking some of that as well. However, I'm I'm going to decline this. It um it feels too far away. Oh look, another cruiser battle in exactly the same place. Well, let's see what this looks like. Uh so this looks a lot more um with the carriers. Okay, so again, only 200 to decline. So estimated forces from the enemy, three battle cruisers, three fleet carriers, five lights. Um, expected enemy forces, some battle cruisers and supporting forces. 130 aircraft from the French and 30 from Iceland. I, I, yeah, I'm going to decline. I'm, I'm not now. That looks better. So, here, estimated and many three battle cruisers, but it's the carriers, and I'm expected. Yeah, I'm, I'm happier with a carrier battle over towards Iceland, where I can retreat towards Norway rather than a carrier battle in the Bay of Biscay, where I have to go through the English Channel. Again, the decline would only cost me 200 points. Uh, I can rearrange my force. Um, don't think it'll probably have much to add. So 170 aircraft from France and 40 from Iceland. They expect they no information on what will turn into actually up in the battle, but I would imagine it's something similar. So we have three carriers in Flug 1 and two carriers in Flug 2. So that's all five fleet carriers. We have uh, a light cruiser force. And then we have one, two, three, four um, destroyers. That's the carrier force in the main force. We have Gneisenau and Scharnhorst, heavy cruisers and some destroyers and a light cruiser. I'm just going to check to see if there's anything we can reasonably add. So no, this is the full fleet. I'm going to accept this and see where it leads. Um, offensive minefields, which is all good stuff. Whoa, 16 destroyers unable to take part in the battle. <laughs> Lack of fuel caused by the thousand nautical mile distance from the base. Whoops. <laughs> memo, memo to self. 
Don't pick a battle south of Iceland. Okay. And attack enemy ships. Yep. Okay, so here's my little checklist. Um, from one of you, kind suggestion, I've moved the create a battle plan to after the scouting and ash search, if only because when you plan your scouting, you usually get a pretty good idea of where the enemy are coming from. Over here, we have the carrier fleet, and over here, we have the heavy cruisers. So let's go through the list. So time of day, it's twilight. Sunrise will be in one hour. Okay, so a little bit of darkness, and then it's all going to be good. Battle length is set to uh, 1,900, so that's a long battle. Okay. Visibility, well, currently we are only in uh, nighttime, so only 5,000 or thereabouts. Wind direction, you can see up here, is to the uh, northeast. So it's a uh, southwesterly, uh, which points us towards uh, Norway. Oh, there's nighttime, here's twilight. Wow, yeah, we are right <laughs> way, way, way out. So, hmm, yeah, I think we definitely want to um, go home as easy, fast as possible. I see Iceland's actually controlled by the French, um, which is fine. Sea and flight restrictions. So I'm not seeing anything. And if we look here, yep, there's nothing here either for once. Um, so yeah, head off back to Norway. Heaven knows why we're out here in the middle of the Atlantic so far away. The order of battle is as we looked at in the preview. So the first and second uh, air divisions, one lot of light cruisers with four of them, and then one, two, three destroyers. Uh, but with very few <laughs> destroyers, only six destroyers. So the carrier force definitely doesn't want to get tangled up with anybody. If we have a look at the main force, we have the Schadenhorst and the Neisenau, the Breslau, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven destroyers. Yeah, that is, that is poor. You know, the plan might be, go home. So set the game speed to ultra fast. Um, yeah, the objective was just inflict more damage on enemy ships than you suffer yourself. So I'm minded to go for a four vector search pattern with two phase search. So another search plane comes behind. I've checked and Sean Horse has six float planes. Nice now. Only two for some reason. Anyhow, that's eight, so that's all fine. Set to a distance of 250 miles, which seems to be uh, a reasonable distance. Also, I suspect it's the maximum kind of range for the uh, for the float planes. So we don't need, obviously, nightcap. And let's click OK for that. And then for the main force, I'm not going to do any search patterns, but what I am going to do is set up a little strike force so that the instant I receive a message, I know I can just launch a strike. It's only a small one. It's really just to pin that the actual location of the enemy forces really are where they're reported to be. Um, so let me just do a couple of those. Okay, so I've readied a couple of dive bomber squadrons to go out. I uh, ideally I would have liked to have made the number smaller, but there's a small bug that I'm suffering, so I'll have to submit a bug report onto the um, onto the forum for Rule the Waves to get that one sorted. I think that's the only one that is still lingering. I noticed that the first uh, air division has only 26 missiles, whereas if I go to the second, there's 49. So there you go. 
I also, by the way, just double checked the um, float planes. And if I look at aircraft data, its um, maximum range is indeed 264. So the 250 mile search is right to the limit of its range. So that's just a couple. As soon as they get launched, I will prepare some proper strikes. And then if I just zoom in, everything is under uh, control here. So I will just make this one uh, automatic, AI controlled, and that in here. So um, yeah, I just have two force flagships, don't really have to worry about anything else. And I think, yeah, that's probably everything. Cross fingers, because obviously these guys should be over here. <laughs> so I'm going to set their speed up to 25 to try and encourage them to overtake the uh, the carriers. And uh, yeah, that should be everything. So let's get started. So I'm going to press uh, zero in order to just make them run continuously. Okay, there are my two little... Uh, Die bomber squadrons ready and willing to go. And there's the, uh, the battle cruisers. Now, the big disadvantage to being so far out is that um, land based air won't be able to do very much. I'm going to take the aircraft carriers and send them due east because I don't want to get too close. To Iceland where there is a French base. Ah, so we do have some stuff, right? <laughs> and it's good stuff. So one CV course to the southwest uh, found by the uh, scout plane from the Richthofen. Don't remember asking the uh, von Richthofen to launch any scouts, but well done guys. Uh, also reports of a CA. All right. So I'm going to drop a note here. So let me just do add a note to the map. Bang. And uh, gives you the date here. So it's the 22nd of May at an eye popping 5.49 in the morning. And we'll just drop that down. Then we should be able to uh, recover that note whenever we need. Yeah, if you just come off reports and then go back in, then boom, you find that note. So that might be a way of uh, keeping on top of stuff. So as promised, we are going to launch a strike. So the target is the CV. Okay. So at 200 nautical miles. We'll probably... Mm, <laughs> I should have probably readied some fighters to go with them. So let's just do that. Okay. Let's just uh, give them a few minutes to ready the fighters. And there's another new report. Hmm. So there is a battleship reported here, heading south southeast. There are two CVs reported here. The earlier note is there, and two CVs reported there as well. The battleship report is concerning. Very concerning. <laughs> so time to crank up a second strike. And yeah, I'm going to auto select this strike. And I'm going to get it ready. And um, yeah, we will decide. Obviously, I just set the uh, tar target priority. Not like I always forget that. And we will pick its course on the 
537 report of two CVs and three CVLs. So I'm not going to launch them. I want to get the first two away. But yes, so good news. Clearly unambiguous stuff up here. Hooray. And let's just push this on uh, a minute at a time. Uh, so we shot down a uh, patrol airplane, so that's good. Right, so the fighters are ready. So let's just crank this one up and select the ready. All right. If I don't coordinate them, they will be over the target at 6.54. If I do, whoa, that really pushes it out to uh, half past eight. So let's not coordinate them. Yes, that may be punishing. I'm probably going to launch the next lot of strikes carrier by carrier. So let's launch that. Yeah, we're all happy. Launch. Uh, do you want to no. know? No. Okay. That's that one underway. Let's go back to the second flug. Oh, they're still preparing and whatnot. So let's go back to the first and we will auto select second strike. And yeah. Let me just have a look at some aircraft data. So the torpedo bomber, let's look at the aircraft. Well, for all of them. So for the torpedoes, I'm looking at the heavy range. So 300 miles, that's fine. For the dive bomber, probably much the same. Dive bomber, 300 miles heavy. So they can all go heavy. So I'm going to take the fighters off. So you and because I don't want the fighters to be heavy. So Dive bomber, torpedo bomber, torpedo bomber, and torpedo bomber. I'm going to make them heavy. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to tamper because it might make the whole lot heavy, and that would be a bad thing. So let's go back to auto strike and get them ready. And let's exit that. And I'm going to push it on five minutes at a time. So. More on the BB. Let's just zoom in a bit. So this is a BB, BC, uh, BC. There was a BB somewhere, but that seems to have gone. So I'm going to drop a note here. And there goes the second lot ready. So let's zoom out. As you can see, by the way, they've added this um, aircraft messages to the log, which is helpful if you miss it in the... So I'm just going to select these. Hmm. So they don't seem to have any fighters. Ready, ready. Uh, let's just select those that are ready. Okay, so the fighters aren't ready yet, so I'm not going to launch them. And over here, yep, ditto, they're not quite finished readying. Ah. A bit more, and they are ready. Back. I'm filtering this on two. So there's the unfiltered, but if I get rid of squadrons with only one or two planes, still no fighters on Flug 1, but on Flug 2, if we select ready, then yes, we do have fighters. So I'm going to do it by carrier. So first of all, let's get the um, August from Parseval going. This looks the right target. I don't think we've had any more reports. No, just the BCs. 
in the last few minutes, which is a shame because it is a little bit later now. But that's the best we've got. CV priority. Uh, if we coordinate them within the carrier, it goes from 821 to 840. Well, that's perfectly acceptable. And let's launch them and then select and then select ready, but not them. And from the Otto Lithenthal, pretty much the same. And they will arrive slightly sooner. That's fine. So let's launch that strike too. Okay. So we now have two sets of strikes going. The initial one of dive bombers, and then these two carrier loads. The remaining three carriers will be done in a few minutes when their fighters are ready. So again, let's push this on five minutes. Speak of the devil and another five minutes. And there's the last of the fighters, I hope. Yep. So let's go and consider the strike there. So um, some of theirs have attacked one of our float plane recons and uh, sorry, dive bomber recons and has shot one down. Ooh. So let's do that. So it says a brigade. That's French. These are French carriers. This may well be the French fleet. Hmm. Okay. So let's select the ready here. And then take off the Graf Zeppelin. Oh, well, that only has one. Um, Peter Strasse has two. Mm. So they would arrive just after nine, but I will use them, the torpedo bombers from the Graf Zeppelin. Quarter past nine? Okay, what the heck. Um, I've really got quite a lot going here. So actually, I'm tempted to not do them. We have a look here. I'm not super bothered by the battle cruisers at the moment. They seem to be out on their own. And, you know, I can, I can avoid a good battle cruiser. So let's cancel that. I will keep this until I get another confirmed sighting of the carrier group, which might be for a while because they may have just shot down our uh, shadowing plane. Let's push this on five minutes at a time. So I'm probably going to slow down the Tronholz and Eisenhower to 20 knots whilst the carriers are doing 18. Uh, mainly for fuel consumption as much as anything else. And then, yeah, we'll just watch what we find out. So the Scharnhorst has just found the carriers and it believes that they're there. So if you remember, here's one. Let me sort this out. So the picture from the reports are uh, from here and here and here now to there. So, you know, that's a pretty clear indication of what's happening with that lot. Technically, we haven't seen a, um, a new battle cruiser course. This one was at 550. And this one was at 549, so a minute earlier. So psh, could be anywhere. At least the carriers are resolving, and uh, there's a, a one of our recon planes scooting around. Stay safe from the evil cap. But it does mean I can go back and select this ready strike. Oops. Select ready. I wish it was in a more obvious uh, sequence, but never mind. And now we can go 
to this most recent two carrier report. 9.40. So if we take out Peter Strafa and the Graf Spey, the von Richthofen's planes will get there at 8.48. So that seems like a good thing. And then if I put back uh, select ready, if I put these together, the Peter Strasser and the Graf Zeppelin will arrive at 8.53. Hopefully, although they're not coordinated, they are arriving at a similar time. So hopefully that will give them a number of problems. We look at the second flug, they've all mainly gone. So I got all of my planes in the air in three waves. What, what of course, can go wrong? Um, I'm going to, yeah, just run this five minutes. Now, I was just thinking, should I push the carriers up a little bit faster? It would be great to have the carriers on this side of the French fleet. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's do that. So another range of searches. And okay. Uh, enemy shoots down a dive bomber. Yeah, it'd be really helpful to have this color coded. So enemy shoots down a dive bomber. Friendly shoots down a, uh, a fighter. ND-50. Also sounds very French. Okay. And here we go. Our first group uh, getting stuck in. Good luck, boys. So eight go in, the cap intercepts. Uh, one -ish of our lads is shot down. Sorry, boys. I'm just going to push this on a minute at a time now. More cap interceptions. And, oh dear. Three more, so half of them are being shot down. Memo to self. Don't send them in uh, without some protection. So four go in. Nothing happens. And nothing happens. Okay. Uh, so their cap intercept the second group of dive bombers. Is the cap landing? I'm not seeing their uh, fighter escort anywhere. Oh, I don't know what happened to that. Ah, I was going to say. Oh, enemy aircraft approaching us. We can turn off this message in. Preferences. No, I do not want to turn off that message. Uh, so eight of our cap takes on seven Loire uh, torpedo bombers and we damage one. Bomb hit on the Graf Zeppelin. Oh dear. I mean, they do take their lumps, so heavy anti-aircraft damages one of their, a second aircraft, medium anti-air a third, our fighters damages a fourth, and our fighters shoots down three more, so that's seven uh, of their uh, torpedo bombers. Oh, sorry, I misread that. Four enemy to um, torpedo bombers have a go at the Graf Zeppelin. And then we shoot down and damage another one. So yeah, that went very, very badly for them. Let's just double check. So you can see here that uh, these guys have um, bypassed the carriers, which is a good thing. And I'm going to send them southish, although they were kind of going in that direction. 
although just at the moment they are all over the place. Here's the graph Zeppelin, and it's absolutely fine. Phew. Okay. I'm, I mean, I would love to push the speed up, but I am concerned for the destroyer fuel stuff. Actually, let's go all the way out and head towards, say, Tron time up there as our course. And then we can do the same here. Actually, let's keep that going due east because obviously they are around here. Right. So that was one torpedo attack uh, decimated by our cap. And they still are on the uh, poor Loire's. And another set of cap having a go at another set of Loire's. Although our uh, Henschels are uh, returning because of fuel. And so here's another lot. Uh, so again, tangling into their Loire's. And again, and heavy anti-air doing its bits. And seemingly, and more damages from the anti-air. No hits. Uh, cap lands on Graf Zeppelin. And on the Peterstrasse, we are. Here, the enemy cap is having a go at um, our recon. Shoots them down. Yes. So we've got new cap going up, which is great. And some of our planes going in, but getting damaged and shot down. It feels like um, fighters are in the ascendancy at the moment. There's not a lot that um, they're getting through. Here's another attack on us with um, yeah more damages on some of them. It feels like we need a jet strike aircraft to uh, be able to marry up with the jet fighters. So, yes, this is um, problematic. So, two dive bombers launch missiles at enemy CV. Come on, give us a hit. Something to uh, bring this first part of the battle to a close would be great. Thank you very much. Well, DD bomb hits. Whoopie doo. <laughs> really, guys? Have I been... Um... No, priority CV. Can't blame me. Enemy ship hit by torpedo. Okay, that's what we like to see. Not sure if we can get a position on that. Well, somewhere. Cannot inspect enemy ships. Boo. Well, um, okay, one more minute. Okay, well, the missiles clearly didn't do the business. Okay. Five more going in, and six, and another six. So this is a big one. Uh, they seem to have avoided the fighters. Another torpedo, reportedly, remember, terms and conditions apply. Uh, six launched missiles and an enemy CV. Come on. No. No. Just going through. And another torpedo. Well, 
Good old fashioned torpedoes, apparently three. We've loosed off a number of missiles. The battle, this air battle is not complete, but it's time for me to do that work thing. So I'm going to leave it here and uh, get this published um, immediately. And yeah, join me for part two, which I hope to post uh, probably tomorrow or the day after. Thanks ever so much for watching. See you next time.